Now, the Coalition for Reforms and Democracy remains adamant that the two-thirds gender rule must be met. The coalition is lobbying for the implementation of the two-thirds rule in Parliament ahead of the August 2015 deadline and says any attempts by the Jubilee government to derail the constitution implementation process will not be taken lightly. Timothy Otieno reports. The metrics on how the two-third gender rule will be implemented ahead of the August deadline remains a mystery. This even as the court leadership insists that the government is not doing enough to salvage the situation. <laughs> Speaking after a closed-door meeting Thursday morning, the court principles say the Jubilee government is bound by the constitution to ensure the rule is met. We would like to appeal to our colleagues uh, in the Jubilee to reason with us so that we can find a way to comply with the provisions of the constitution. Even though the two-thirds rule appears to have been met at the county and executive levels, Kenya's parliament constitutes only 19% of women both nominated and elected, a figure which is still below par. I'm therefore asking the president who has actually signed to the UN he for she campaign and who swore to defend the constitution, to defend the clauses in our constitution and remind parliament and the executive, you cannot choose which parts of the constitution to adhere to and which to reject. These uh, leaders of Jubilee, let them roast in their own uh, chosen path of neglecting, as I said, not living the spirit of the constitution. Time is truly catching up with them. The coalition that is lobbying for the full implementation of Article 81B of the Constitution says the recent bill by Justice and Legal Affairs Committee Chairman Samuel Chepkwonga will not succeed. The bill was seeking to amend the article that says that not more than two-thirds of the members of elective public bodies can be of the same gender. Even the adventure they have taken through the now much publicized Chepkwonga bill will get nowhere because no side in both houses can marshal enough numbers to pass a constitutional bill. Code says it will have a retreat to discuss the matter further with appropriate measures to be put in place to ensure the women of Kenya get what they say is duly theirs by the constitution. Timothy Otieno, KTN.